friends and they watch what you do and then you start going, oh wow, these people are starting to ask me what I'm up to. Now they know I'm a real person and things like that. So um, we do, we have five new starts already this month and honestly have five to 10 more in the funnel that are this close and it's, it's because of things that we've been doing for the last few months. It's not anything magic we started March 1st. It's, it's paying off because we've consistently been meeting new people, loving on new people, building relationships, and they're saying, okay, maybe I do want to know what they're up to. So um, that is what I would add to, and I absolutely love what she said. I mean, we all know, or we wouldn't be giving up a sun Sunday afternoon for it, we all know that what we have in our fingertips is amazing, and we've, we've talked to a lot of people that have done different things, and the more they learn about ours, the more they see what we have is so different. You know, we have a comp plan that's working for us. We have people running our company that want us to succeed financially. They want us to profit, you know, versus a lot of other companies where they want to put so many parts and objections, the things that are meant to keep us from, from really truly succeeding. That's not the environment that we're working with. And plus, we have the products that are the best. We just heard over and over again what they're doing for people. So um, not that anybody here is questioning any of that, but I just want to encourage you that you're in the right place, um, definitely right time, right products. Take heed to things your coaches say. There's something you're not doing that they're telling you to do, and just be bold and do it, you know, because it's all meant to help you succeed. And so, anyway, that's actually not what today's about. It's not, my, not even my topic, so Monica's probably getting ready to pull the hook. Um, but I'm gonna get us started off um, with something a lot of us have probably heard a little bit about for, before, and that's branding yourself. Um, and so, a couple things on this. One, there's a lot of ways this can be taken. I see a lot of cute Zingular shirts out here. That is part of branding, right? Go around town, logoed up, and be armed and ready. When somebody asks you, what's that? You say, oh my gosh, have you seriously never heard of it? Like you just make them feel like they're really missing out on something because they are. Um, and then make sure you get their info. You know, I don't have a lot of time to get into it right now, but I would absolutely love to send you a quick text with some information, get their phone number. Or are you on Facebook? Find them real fast and get, get back with them. So that's an easy branding thing. But the bigger spectrum of branding is you want to be a positive person. You want to exude light and hope and not be a lot of negative. And so sometimes I feel like, you know, our Zingular posts are uplifting and inspiring and then we hop on Facebook and we're negative and we're tearing stuff down. It, you know, I'm not saying anybody in this room, but I want us to think of what we're trying to promote as a whole and think our, it's the way we're operating something people would be drawn to, right? Because I feel like enthusiasm and excitement is contagious, but so is the opposite, you know? So if you're wanting to attract positive people and you're wanting to bring people into your funnel that are you know, glass half full type of people and people that are excited and motivated and things like that, then that's what we have to be, right? We have to brand ourselves because we don't want to attract the other that will drag us down. It will suck the life out of us. We've probably all worked with somebody before that we're like, here's your $48, return it, do whatever you want, you know, but that's not what we want to attract, right? And so the best thing we can do is just really monitor ourselves and think about the hope and the the vibes that we're sending out through all of our interactions with people. Um, so if that means you're having a particularly rough day and you have to vent behind the scenes or, you know, be, you know, have that moment, by all means, we're obviously normal, real people. But I just want to think if we're using our social media as our biggest platform for getting the word out about this, then our social media probably needs to be uplifting and inspiring. So that's just food for thought. One other thing as far as branding that I want to say. So probably everybody in this room got started and you were probably told, don't say singular. Don't say singular. Don't say singular. I was. Who else was told? Don't say singular. Okay? We're retracting that. <laughs> so here's the deal. We are all learning as we go, right? I mean, every one of us. Lacey, all of us that are in here, first company we've ever been with. Had no prior experience. And there was somebody that told us from high up, not, not a corporate person, but somebody that had great success that said this is a bad idea and this is why. Here's the deal. It's actually okay to build some mystery when you very first have somebody newly sharing because we do. We want them to come to us for their info, right? We don't want them to hop on Google. We want to be knowing that they're even asking. So that's, that's true. I'm not going to completely abort that concept. When somebody is brand new on sharing, formulating their first couple of posts, it's okay to still build some mystery. But for those of us in this room, a lot of us that have been sharing three, four, five, six years now, it is time to let the secret out of the bag and we need to show that we're proud of our company and we need to be blasting our company's name if we want to become a household name. And we do want to be a household name because right now we're all sitting here in the forefront of this company and nothing would be better than for our company to be a household name. So I, want, I don't want to rattle off the competitors now, but I know every single person in here can think of other competitors that are blaring their names, whether it's hair products, whether it's makeup, whether it's other health and wellness, they're not keeping their name a secret. And so their household names, they're becoming that because every time they turn around, they see people talking about it. And we want to create that same thing for our company. Um, 
Now, I know the objections, I know the premise on why this, the whole secret thing was started, because like I said earlier, we wanna be the ones that are giving them the information, and we all know that if you Google, then you might stumble upon something that's not pleasant about our company. It's a hazard, you know, it's just part of it. Hold on just a second. Um, but it is something that can be said of every single company, whether it's multi-level marketing, whether it's Walmart, whether it's Sam's Club, whether it's Orange Juice, you can find something negative on Deanna White if you dig hard enough. No, I'm just kidding. Never. But you can prove whatever the heck you want to prove with the internet. So um, it's just one of those things that in order, and our, and our top corporate guys are saying it, you know, why the secret? Why the secret? It's one of the first things Russ Fletcher asked. I've been with all these different companies. I've never seen another company leave their name out of the equation. Um, Curtis has said it. People that I highly, highly respect and people that have far more industry experience than I do saying, why the secret? Why the secret? And it's taken us a few years to kind of like, okay, okay, I think that he's right. I think they're right. Um, so is it possible that you could put Zingular on your posts? And somebody could say, hmm, I'm not even going to tell Kim McCracken I'm thinking about this, and I'm going to go behind the scenes, and I'm going to order it somewhere else. Is that possible? Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. It's unfortunate. But is it possible that we're turning people off because we have this big secret, but we won't tell anybody the name of it? Yes. Yeah, it is. Is it possible that if enough of us were saying singular, 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 that people would say, I want to know what the heck this is. It seems like everybody's talking about it. There is a hair products line right now that I'm feeling that way about. I'm like, what the heck is everybody? Somebody said, because people are saying the name everywhere I turn and people are talking about it. So I'm not gonna stand up here and tell you that you might not ever potentially lose somebody along the way, right? It could be an unfortunate situation, um, but I still think we stand far more to gain to let the secret out of the bag, to become a household name, to create a buzz and energy about our company and to be proud of it and not have anybody thinking that we're trying to hide something from them because we're not. We know we have the best products. We know we have the best compensation plan. If you do have somebody that stumbles on something negative and they come back with you, who's already had that happen before? Mm -hmm. I have, this isn't new. Mm -hmm. Eventually they watch the product video or they eventually figure out what the name of it is anyway. So a lot of them are gonna go Google singular scam, negative reviews on singular, right? So this isn't even really that new of a hazard. It's something that still exists with the way we do it. And I personally, whenever I've experienced that, I will say, you know, honestly, it's probably something that one of our competitors put out and people can say anything they want and it doesn't make it true. And are you gonna trust Joe Schmo, who you don't know from anywhere, <laughs> giving it a negative review, mm -hmm. or me, who you've watched for five years now, right? I mean, that's, that's what we're doing here is we're building relationships. So um, I realize that there's this element of fear with it and I realize it's new and I realize it's not something that we've all thought about, but I think we stand so much to gain by screaming it from the rooftop, rooftops, branding ourselves everywhere we can go, being positive people that people are drawn to. People like to be around positive, right? And I think that we will really do ourselves a favor and it's, it's advantageous for all of us, for our company to just explode with the global profit pools and all kinds of other things. We want just massive explosion and I think um, not keeping that a secret is part of what it takes. So anything, any of you guys wanna add to the branding at all? I cover it? The only thing that I've seen you do, uh -huh. particularly, is always add a line if you're going to say hashtag. Oh yes, singer. thank you. No, I, no, um, I've put like hashtag um, contact me for the best pricing, or I've added something like that on there. So then people are like, well, I don't really just want to hop on any random place and stumble my way through finding out how to order. I want to go through Deanna because she t told me to contact her for the best pricing or something like that. So thank you for reminding me that. Um, so that's one one way that we can do it. So And the hashtags is a big thing. Um, if you are on Instagram and you go search a hashtag Zingular right now, you guys, there's not that many. And we have people on our team that have gotten cold leads from Instagram, people that are just searching Instagram and hashtags. So like, if you're not already using hashtags on Facebook and on um, Instagram and being sure to make Zingular one of those hashtags and mm -hmm. start doing Cause there, that. I mean, I'll, I'll throw the flip at you. There might be somebody that's watching somebody that they would never order from. Maybe they just don't want to do business with them. Maybe this person has just put them off or burned them in some other walk of life. And it could work to your advantage when they say, hey, I, tell me more. Because they've seen that you do Zingular and they've seen that you're talking about it and things like that. So um, it, there's so much to gain from it. And I you know, will pray, pray, pray that no, nobody has those one instances. But I think that operating our business with the fear of one little random incident is very short-sighted, right? It's very, very confining and it's operating out of, what do they say, out of lack instead of out of plenty. It's, it's being scared that I'm gonna lose one person along the way 
instead of seeing the bigger picture, which is we want to scream this from the rooftops, that we have the most amazing products and companies. So any questions on that? Anybody? <laughs>